So I wanna uh I guess to start this off this is gonna be I'm just gonna show y'all proof in my paperwork. I'm just cause I got my own feelings. And I wanna stop what y'all got playing cause it ain't even worth it, man. Let me live. My first it's my first charge. I was a, I was originally booked on domestic abuse battery and attempted kidnapping. The detective told me the kidnapping wasn't gonna stick because I took her home. I didn't take her nowhere but home. Oh. Uh, the first charge in Louisiana on domestic abuse is six months. It take three to become a felony. So what happened was was these people sat me down for seven months they sat me down for seven months or whatever you feel me I sat there just knowing I was gonna beat it and go home you feel me and on July 19th I can show you the paperwork that these people dismissed my domestic abuse let me see yeah they dismissed my domestic abuse and they and they gave me second degree battery after I did all my time though. I did all my time. Six months is the first one. I did all my time. Then people gave me second degree battery and told me I had a felony. I can't get a gun. This is the piece of paper. Hold on, let me oh, I can't even turn my camera around. So this is the piece of paper. And let me find it. Uh I don't know if y'all can read it. I'm trying to find exactly the piece of paper where they stated. I okay, I'm getting to it. Here we go. But whatever happened, I went to court early that morning. I went to court that morning and people they they brought me up, looked at my case, and people say, Oh no, bring him back at three o'clock. They didn't want to sentence me in front of everybody. Why? Because that shit didn't sound right on the first domestic abuse. So what they did was put me back downstairs. The DA and Cammy Watley came with what they wanted to come with and came up with whatever, knowing that I was gonna plead to go home. Seven months in that bitch on something I know I didn't do. They knew I was going to plead to go home, so you offered me probation, and I took it, not really knowing what my charge was. If I knew that you would have upgraded my charge instead of downgrading it, I wouldn't have signed. I would have sat in jail. You feel me? But they, I got all the paperwork, man. For anybody who want to see it, if you look me up, I was originally booked on domestic abuse battery and simple kidnapping. I never signed on a second degree battery at all. Somebody forged my signature on papers. I got proof. <laughs> Somebody forged my signature when I left it. When I left the, when I left the detective's office, office from downtown, I didn't even sign a paper. You hear me? I didn't even sign a paper. That nigga took me straight to CCC. I didn't sign no papers with him. Here goes the second degree battery. But if you look up my shit, as you see it say amended. Amended. Amended from a domestic abuse. They never told me because as we all know, they talk in codes. So they use codes for the law. And so they was talking in codes and she never confirmed with me exactly what the charge was. But me thinking that you're in my best interest. I took what you told me. And so with that to with that to be said for, for Shreveport police, I don't know if Mary Harriet made that statement that I said, oh, I kidnapped her because I didn't.
<clears throat> when I seen Mary and I went to go ask her about my case and talk about my case and I told her what to do, that woman told me what she couldn't do. But you my lawyer and you work for me and I'm telling you what to do. You say what you can't do. I told her and see that's why y'all wonder why somebody got Cammy. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it at all. I swear. <laughs> I was in my house. At all times. That whole time. Ever since I got out of jail I don't come outside. Why? Because the fucking police is out harassing us. So I don't even come out. I go to the store and go back home. I got paperwork. I'm trying to see where my where my original my original booking sheet. But if you if I if I let you read my paperwork, then you would see that all through my paperwork, my witness said I was protecting myself. Kathy stated that I didn't really do nothing. Kathy never told you I did nothing to her. It's in the paperwork. What does that say? Domestic abuse battery. How did I get a second degree out of that? For protecting myself. How did I get a second degree out of that? You see right here. Boom. At the bottom of the paper. It said they entered for dismissal. Why would you dismiss my case? You dismissed it and didn't send me home. You didn't send me home. So why you dismiss my case? You feel me? You went from a from a from a misdemeanor and gave me a felony cuz I didn't know shit about the law. So Cammy Watley, this is on you. You did this to the state of Louisiana cuz all you had to do was get me free. I did all my time. All you had to do was get me free. But you didn't do that. You didn't do that. You swapped me out. You swapped me out and gave me a felony for what? Try to take me off the street. Y'all people crazy, man. So anyway, back to this. Domestic abuse. As you see, that's the only charge on there. Only charge. I was told. I was told that if you was charged with something, they couldn't bring up another charge if that wasn't the original charge. So how did you get a second degree from the domestic? Somebody answer that. So now that I got that out the way, let's go to this one. Since I proved that I'm not a convicted felon, let's go to this one. Possession of a firearm. Did you get the gun off of me, sir? No. Did you see me in the yard with the gun, sir? No. Why would you lie on me like that? Why would you lie on me like that, Mr. Stovall? So everybody in Hollywood, y'all better watch out for that white dude, Stovall. He's building cases on you. <laughs> I got paperwork. Nowhere, nowhere do I have gang member tattoos. What made you say I was a gang member, sir? What made you say I was a gang member, sir? Let me see. Mr. Stovall. Right here, y'all. Stovall. T. Stovall. That's that white man that be riding around with that buzz cut. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. This man put me as a as a gang member and not for what? It says possible gang related. Right here with my finger at. It says possible gang related. That man put an X next to the Y. Why would you put an X next to the Y? What made you think I was in a gang? Hmm? Why would you think I was in a gang? What made you think I was in a gang? Last time you rode down that street before you arrested me, the last time you rode down this street, where was I? In my door looking at you. I don't even come outside. So, as so as we get into that, <laughs> let's get to the snitch. 
Shakelvin. What's your last name? Uh, damn, what's the boy last name? Calhoun. Shakelvin Calhoun. Mr. KD, Kevin Durant. You feel me? Why the police trying to make me seem like I'm a bad person? I just seen you. Didn't I? Are you dead? No. Did I need to take revenge? No. Why? Because I could beat it. There's no such thing as a felon in possession of a weapon. My Second Amendment told me I had the right to keep and bear arms. Y'all better quit playing with me. Don't play with me. Drop your case and send a check. Straight up. Like I said, I don't have beef with nobody. I don't beef with nobody because I don't go outside. So, I go to court Tuesday. If I end up dead or shot, I did not get killed by a dude. I got killed by the police or the government. Straight up. All y'all out there know me. Everybody who's going to run across this damn video knows me. I can be a nut when you fuck with my family. I nut up. But I don't do nothing else. I have always wanted to fight. People don't fight no more. So what do I look like fighting? So I'm going to protect my life. You get that? Don't be playing with me, man. Y'all be playing with me like I like I'm just some motherfucking like I'm some fucking suicide, man. I understand what y'all going through, but while y'all playing, y'all need to be really out there catching them killers and quit fucking with me, cause I ain't did nothing to you. That's why y'all fuck with me, cause y'all don't know me. Now should I show more proof in all y'all lies? How 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 do we have we I I personally remember four police officers on the scene. It was the tall, white, skinny sergeant with the blue eyes and white hair. You had the Mexican man. I don't. I forgot his name. I know exactly who he is because I've been knowing him since I was on Pines Road. You had Stovall and you had a woman. Why does all these police reports got Stovall number on them? So that means Stovall wrote them all, right? Hmm. Then y'all forgot to put my girl on my paperwork like my girl wasn't at home. My girl was eight months pregnant and that Mexican man pushed her to the side and went in my house. I am not a threat. <laughs> Never have been a threat. Never threaten no one's life unless you threaten mine. I want y'all to hear me clearly now. And so, since y'all, since you do what you do, okay, we can pull up this sheet, and it this pulls up all my, all my, all my charges. All my charges right there. But what made y'all? What made me catch on to y'all, and y'all better get y'all shit together because it was your homicide detective when I caught the gun case. And they took me to homicide trying to get me to snitch. <laughs> that's, who, that's who fucked y'all up. That man looked at my paperwork and said, there's no way you can be a convicted felon. He called for a latch. I don't know what that is. Y'all know what that is. He called for a latch to make sure. And when he got his latch back, that man said, they fucked you. I say for real, he say yes. Ha ha. Y'all better watch out, police. Ha ha. Your police officer did that, not me. If he would have shut his mouth, I would have never caught on to that. So when he opened his mouth and told me that y'all fucked me on my first charge, I went looking. I went and got all my paperwork and started looking. And I found where y'all fucked me. So I'm going to ask without sending this to the governor. 
And without making this go bigger than what it's going to go, I'm going to ask you to please drop your charges and leave me alone. Like straight up. That's all I ask. Give me some money for wasting my time. All the time y'all took away from my kids. Give me some money for the 10 years that y'all was going to try to take me from my kids. So I could go ball with my kids and have some fun. Since you was going to fuck up their life, help me live their life out now. And I get out your state. I understand I'm a foreigner in a foreign land. I understand. I understand. Ever since y'all found out I was from California, y'all been trying to hang me. I understand. Give me my money and I get out your state. I will. Willie Shaw. Uh, whatever the new chief name is, uh, Crump. Whoever this is, whoever looking at this, please. That's all I'm asking. Drop these charges with the, these fake charges. Drop them and give me some money so I can live the rest of my life with my kids. I leave you alone. Once again, I'm going to repeat. I do not have beef with anybody in Shreveport at all. I have beef with no one on this earth. So if I end up dead, it's not a street nigga. PSA. <laughs> Public service announcement. If I... In my life, it was not somebody on the street that killed me. I don't have beef with anybody in the world. I walk everywhere freely. Not looking over my shoulders. I don't look over my shoulders for somebody trying to get me. The only reason I'm looking over my shoulders is the police. Why? Because they'll pull up behind me and beat my ass when they know who I am. I didn't have my ass whooped every time I've been to jail. Every time. Every time I've been to jail, I have my ass whooped. That resistant charge y'all trying to stick me with, I got a 20 minute Facebook live video that you couldn't delete. Ha! So like I say, drop your cases, pay me my money. Or we can get the video from the, the troopers cars. We can get the video from Corporal G. Thomas. The nigga who snatched me out the car told me, shut the fuck up. I caught your name. I'm filing lawsuits on y'all. So you can, you can give me my money or I will file a lawsuit. You can see the look in my eyes, kid. I am not playing because I'm not scared. I don't fear no man. If you're going to take me from my family, you have to work for it, though. I'm going to make sure that everybody know it wasn't an accident. It wasn't an accident at all. Because all I want to do is live my life, and y'all been trying to lock me up ever since 2004. Every time you catch me, you are trying to give me five years or better, and you never was able to convict me of anything. Juvenile record, no nothing. Y'all have never been able to convict me because y'all never had evidence. Y'all be trying to play mind games. I'm done with the mind games. I'm done with them. I just want to live my life. They left my girl off my paperwork. As you can see. It says Deezra Davis. Robert Bain. SPD 352. SPD 352. Denisha Calhoun. They didn't even put that nigga name in here. But it's in my motion. It's in the words. Sha Kelvin. They put your name in there. I told you. And I tried to tell you, kid, beforehand. I tried to tell y'all. Y'all don't want to be out here playing with the police. Because they don't do nothing but give you up. 
They can't hide information. They playing with you. They can't hide that information. If you tell on somebody and they go get their motion, they can't hide that information. So then you become a target to niggas. You feel me? So they played you. But luckily, I have a conscience. I've always had a conscience. So once again, you can never prove no wrongdoing. Because I had a conscience. I have never did anything wrong other than fault. Who doesn't fight? As a youngster, who doesn't steal out the store? Y'all gonna have to come better than that, man. I got proof that that's no law. And if I stole, then you had to get me at that time. Because whatever I stole don't even exist no more. I was I was a child then, and if you didn't catch me with it, then you don't have anything. Especially as a juvenile. So please, just do what I'm asking. On here, I got what you see wrote in my handwriting. That's all the lies. That's what lies I caught. That's what's on this paper. These people saying that I was in the house. That top line say we were not in the house. We was in the truck because that's where we was. He jumped out the bushes with that AR and told me he was going to shoot me. Get the fuck out the truck. Y'all better watch his camera. I'm telling y'all, y'all better watch his camera and that, and that car camera. Stove off. He jumped out that bitch and told me he was going to shoot me. Told me he was going to shoot me or my girl when she opened the door. And I told him he had to shoot me because I was going to close my door. He wasn't going to shoot my girl. You feel that? Watch his video camera. Watch his body cam. You will hear those words if he had it recording. He said he was going to shoot us. He didn't give a fuck which one he shot. My girl was eight months pregnant. He said he didn't give a fuck which one he shot. I told him he's going to have to shoot me because I'm closing my door. I got out the truck, went to the door, closed the door, and then I did what he wanted me to do. He searched the truck. There was no guns in the truck. So they illegally went in my house. I got proof. They left my girl off the paperwork. My girl was in the house the whole time. She is not a traitor. So you can't get her to trade on me and say, oh, well, here, if you go against him, we'll give you this. It's not going to work. That's why she signed up to come to trial last time. Because y'all trying to take me from her. And she know I did nothing wrong. I was in my house. Relaxing. When Robert came with a problem. You get that? I didn't. I didn't. I, but I did nothing. With that gun. Me and Robert had just came from work. He dropped me off. Went back to the store. When I went, man, when he came back from the store, he had a problem. I went to the store with him to go see what his problem was. When I came back, Stovall was sitting down the street from my house. He was sitting about three houses down in his car. He didn't even see us pull up. But by the time I could get out the truck, that man was in the bushes. Because I seen all them little girls run down there and say, there you go. He didn't even know who he was looking for. You feel me? So I really feel like I was being picked on. It's really hurting my heart. The way I've been sitting here for two years.
almost two years sitting there going to court over something that's fake. And I told my lawyer it was fake. I told her set this up for trial so we can go on and get a mistrial. She told me there's no such thing as a mistrial. Why? That's a lie. How it's not a mistrial? I got paperwork right here proving that everything that was said is a lie. I got a witness. I still got one witness. R.I.P. Robert Bain. But I still got one witness here who can prove that everything on these papers is a lie. Mm. Hmm. And then they say they say that they they say that they scouted the area and got and was asking neighbors questions. Y'all didn't scout no area. I sat there and watched y'all go right to Kelvin House. And then when the lady came to the car, I heard her say, Kelvin said. So don't lie saying you went around to the neighbors scouting for information. Just be real and say, Shaquelvin called you. It's all right. Shaquelvin, you're going to live to see every day possible till you cross the wrong person. You ain't got to worry about me, though. Everybody ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to let that shit slide like that, though. You seen her look? Everybody ain't gonna let this slide like I did. I let this shit slide. I know people in jail right now who couldn't let that shit slide. But why? Why couldn't he let it slide? Because he was spending his money on a lawyer. And he didn't want to feel like he was losing money. These niggas, they catch a murder charge and go and go get them a lawyer and don't want to feel like they losing their money, so they go out there and retaliate. And then when you go out there and retaliate, you end up back in jail. I didn't have to do that. The way the state trooper pulled me over for that resistant charge, I knew he knew who I was. He was fucking with me. Nobody did nothing to him. If you listen to my video all the way through, that man said he stopped us because he seen us smoking. Smoking what? Who was smoking? You seen Britney smoking? What was she smoking? She had just lit up a cigarette. As soon as we got on the side of you, she lit up this cigarette. Then you got mad because you asked for my license. I wasn't even driving. I was a passenger. So why do you need my license? No. I didn't fail to identify myself. I identified myself, didn't I? What did I resist? The whole time, I'm in, I'm in my seatbelt. They came and yanked me out the car, took my seatbelt off of me, and when you hear me say, oh, man, yeah, that was that motherfucker kneeing me in my jaw. He picked that bitch up as far as he can and dropped that bitch dead in my jaw for what? Because that's what y'all do to me every time y'all get me somewhere, huh? First time I ever went to jail, y'all go back and check my check my juvenile records. And I will point out the sergeant because I, I still see him. But you, you check out my shit. Check out my juvenile record. And my first charge. I don't even think it was a real charge at that, that night. Out past curfew. <laughs> but when he caught me, them people took me to Bird. At 3 o'clock in the morning, had me sitting in the middle of the parking lot with two white men and the, and the chief asked, what would I do if they beat my ass right now and I didn't make it home? I start screaming for my fucking mama. That shit hurt. Ever since I've been in Shreveport, y'all been threatening me.
Once again, PSA. I don't have beef with nobody on the street. Nobody in the world. So if I die before court or at court at any time after, it wasn't a nigga. It was the police or the government. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it. Because if something happened to me, I want y'all to know. Because I know when the police see this, they're going to be mad. But I'm just asking y'all. I've been asking y'all to drop the cases. I go in there and ask the lawyer to go in and tell y'all to drop them. Y'all don't want to drop them. If I can show her the proof, why can't y'all drop my case? Because y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want to say, oh, no, this nigga right without a lawyer. You feel me? So you didn't want to say, oh, this nigga right without a lawyer. Because I didn't want to pay her. And I still have yet to pay her. And I'm not going to pay her. How can you put Mary Harriet on my case. And then I fire her. And you tell me I can't fire her. But you still have other public defenders in your office. Told me I had to hire an attorney. If I want to get rid of her. So what I did was go and do my own shit. And search on, on my own. Since I had to hire an attorney. And couldn't fire her. That's where y'all fucked up. That's where y'all fucked up. Y'all could have gave me another attorney. And this shit could have went smooth. They denied me another attorney. Told me I had to pay for one if I want one. So I went and did my research on my own. And found everything I need to find. I did what the government don't want us black men to do. Read. <laughs> I don't use my phone for social media all day, my nigga. Anything I do on social media is by choice, but I don't need it. I can still point out shit. I got shit for days right here, man. I got paperwork. Paperwork. I got paperwork. And I did what they didn't want a nigga to do. I read it myself. Learned the law myself. Caught all the loopholes. I know you can't be convicted off of loopholes. You get that? Please, please, please. Drop your case. Send me a check for about a meal. <laughs> I'd be done. I'd get out your way. I feel like I deserve a million dollars. For the last 13, 14 years, for the last 14 years, I've been getting my ass whooped every time I get caught by the police. And they wonder why I run. They wonder why I used to run. I don't run no more because I don't have a reason. But they used to wonder why I run. My mom always told me that y'all wasn't my friends. That decal on that card don't stand for me. Because you don't serve and protect me. You don't protect me at all. Who is you protecting me from? You putting me in jail. Who are you protecting me from? My family? Y'all need me to get deeper into this, man. Y'all hit me up, man. Somebody, if y'all need, if y'all need to see more proof, hit me up. I will show you.